<laughs> this thing is sweet. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. I'm going to try to do this around the camera for you guys. And see how this works. I'm going to go for the top. No, let's go for the yeah top left target. See how that works. Trying to do it through the viewfinder. A little low. P10F. Let's see what we did. Only about seven yards away. Not bad. Here we are. Blew that one. But that was actually the best grouping of the three mags that I put through it. And that was through the viewfinder of the camera. Maybe I should stick to shooting like that. All right, review coming next. Hello, everybody. MD Polo here. Thank you for joining me. Today, we take a look at the CZ P10F. Now, this is a pistol that I've been looking for actually for quite some time. Of course, I could order one online, but what I wanted to do is get my hands on one, actually hold it and see how it felt in my hand. It took some time, and also what added to the weight is that I wanted this color, not just in black, and I was looking for this color with the optics ready cut. And that just was not happening. So finally, not a couple days ago, walked into my local gun shop, and there she was picked it up right away and I am so happy that I did. As you saw in the range footage at the beginning of the video, I loved shooting this pistol. A little bit unusual for me that I was shooting it a bit high and right. So I'm going to take a look at the alignment of the sights because normally if anything I'm going to be shooting a little bit low and left. But nonetheless it was a fantastic pistol to shoot and I'm so glad I got it. So taking a look at the pistol, first let's check, of course it's been safety checked already, but it's always good to try it one more time. As I walk, let you take a look around the pistol. Let me give you a bit of the statistics, of the specs on it. It is chambered in nine millimeter, although they just came out with a P10F in 45 ACP. And as soon as that hits one of my local shops, it, that's going home with me, no questions asked. So I'll let you take a look around. So again, this is chambered in nine millimeter, full size. You got 19 plus one capacity, and um, it is a st with a steel slide. It is a fiber reinforced polymer frame. The mechanism is striker fired. The dots, the sighting system is a three dot combat sight system that I like very much. It's one of the reasons why I'm debating whether to put the red dot on it or not, you know, to have the slide milled or not. The barrel, uh, again, is 4.5 inches. It is cold hammer forged barrel. And the width of it is 1.26 inches. The overall length of it is 8 inches. And the weight of it is 28.2 ounces. So it is a big girl, but it handles fantastically. Starting at the top, you see the serration, the, the slide. You do have this one, the FTE color does come with night sights. So it's got a three dot night sight system with serrations in the back of it. You've got a bit of a, le a ledge there if you need to do uh, manipulations or anything, rack one handed mani mani manipulations. You do have the slide right here. They're metal sights, so they're very nice. 
I personally, some people are even saying that they want to change it to high def sites, and that's fine. I don't see a need to do that. I need to do that myself, unless I have it milled for a red dot, and then of course I'm going to change the sites as well, since I'm doing that already. In the case, it is the regular CZ case. I'll show you here in a second. Nope. It's a regular CZ case, and you get a spare mag, so it comes with two mags. You get the back straps, small, medium, and large, and you can tell, it comes with a small one installed, and you can tell right here, it's gonna say whether it's the small, medium, or large. And then you also get a little baggie with the Allen wrenches that you need in order to change, to remove the sights. You're going to get a smaller one for the front and a little bit larger one for the back. So it's a very basic case, regular CZ case. So going back to the to the top, of course, stay, uh, stainless slide, very nice serrations. They're not very large because there's actually not a lot of real estate, as you know by now. The rail system is inverted from what you normally would see on a Glock and other pistols. So it, that gives you a very low bore axis, making the, the gun very shootable, if that's something you believe in. The higher bore axis, like on my SIGs, they've never bothered me, but some people seem to know that's, people, some people say that that is very important. Right, it's a different debate. But the size serrations are very nice. Here you see your extractor, uh, very nice. There you go. Moving down to the grip. Like I said, it's a fiber reinforced polymer grip. It's got very aggressive uh, stippling. And it's something that either you like or you don't like. Some people like very aggressive, but you, you get a good grip on the pistol. And just by this little gripping that I do, you're going to see it's already leaving prints. So it's very nice if you like aggressive grips. If you don't, then you may not be a fan of this. The texture is a little bit different from the front. Let the focus catch up a little bit. There you go, you see the texture here. It's a lot more aggressive in the back and in the front than it is on the sides. So nice on you CZ for thinking about that. If you're gonna carry this, a lot of people do carry pistols of this size, but this is gonna be a lot smoother against your skin than the front and the back. Another nice thing on the newer models of the P10 line of pistol is that now the mag release is reversible, but it's not ambi off the box. There, some people work a lot of complaints about the stiffness of the mag release. So CZ listened, made it reversible, and now it works really well. Very easy to manipulate, no problem whatsoever. The takedown levers are very thin, very close to the frame of the pistol, very. There you go. So they're just like Glock systems. You pull it down and we'll do that in a second. And that, you, that way you manipulate the, the, the takedown. So your slide lock, you see how close it is to the frame. It's not gonna get, get in your way. And my fingers are not long enough that this is gonna cause an issue. But there are aftermarket companies that are making these a little bit larger and this a little bit larger if that's what you want. What's nice about it, what I really enjoy about this pistol right now, not only is the grip angle, and by the way, I've got the small back strap on, and for medium-sized hands, that's the one that has been working the best for me. But it's got such, here on the tang of the, of the grip, it's got, it is so deep, it allows the pistol to get really, really deep into your hand, and it's just very controllable. You see how little it is above my hand, and how close I am to the actual line of the barrel here. Very nicely done. You got a severe, a very aggressive undercut here. Again, aiding into the grip. So between the cutout here and the cutout here, you can get very deep into the grip. Your trigger guard right here, you have room, ample room here for large hands, gloved, Plenty of room here, so that's not gonna be an issue for guys with gloves or bigger hands. The trigger guard is a little bit squared, and you got a little bit of texture in the front, but none on the bottom. 
and you got a two-slot pick rail up front to hang your lights or whatever you want to put up front of your pistol. Not much of a magwell at the bottom. And there you go. Thing back here, you're going to be able to see a, a little bit better on the on the grip. There you see this one's this small. That's where you're going to see the mark, small, medium, large. Looking at the trigger, it is one of the best striker fire triggers that I've seen. Super double checking. Let me show you this. You've got your blade safety. And together with the blade safety, part of the system is you see that little point that comes there. So this, if you're not depressing the trigger safety, that helps in stopping the trigger from being accidentally fired. You can see it there. But once you put this, it disappears, and now you now it'll go. So what does this look like? Once you release, depress, I'm sorry, the, the safety blade, you go straight back. This one's still not very smooth, because again, I just got it, and it's got probably 150 rounds through it only. It goes through here, you get your wall. It's a very crisp, I mean, a very defined wall, and then you go through it. Boom. It's a very crisp break. You go to your reset. It's right there, and you're immediately at the wall with your break. Awesome, awesome striker fire trigger. So there it is. Um, it's breaking constant, consistently at four and three quarters, between four and a half and four and three quarter pounds. I know that there's aftermarket companies that make triggers for the P10 line. At this point, I don't see a, a reason to change it. I might take a look into it in the future, but it is just one of the best, if not the best, striker fire polymer trigger, trigger from the factory that I've experienced. Now taking a look at the inside, I know I've done it, but it's safety checked. You let the focus catch up a little bit. You, you fire and then you pull it back, depress these levers down, and off comes the slide. And yes, YouTube, I just disassembled the pistol. That is in the owner's manual and is part of the procedure for cleaning and safety checking of the weapon. When you take it apart like this and then put it back together, it is not modifying a pistol. So get educated and stop demonetizing videos because that we're following safety and manufacturer's instructions. Taking a look at the pistol on the inside, it might be a little bit dirty because it has been, I have been shooting it. But you can see it is just typical striker fired CZ if you're familiar with them. Got very beefy rails in the, in the front, in the back. On the left side, you got more contact than on the right, of course, but it's just very nicely done. And here you got your recoil, your recoil spring and rod. And let's take a look at that. The slide is just very beefy, even though it's not very big, very high. It's very beefy, well done, no machine marks anywhere, no tooling marks anywhere on this. And again, I'm sorry that it's dirty. I normally clean all my guns immediately when I come home from the range, but I just haven't been able to do that with this one beefy barrels. I mean, they're just like cannons. This is supposed to be a polished feed ramp, as you can see there. Yuck. And a captured recoil spring. It's a typical striker fired pistol, but it's very well done. Very, very well done. I'll clean my hands here for a second. And to reassemble it, of course, just reverse the process. In goes your barrel. And go as your recoil spring, flip it over, and the rails. And there we go. So what do I think so far about the P10F? 
actually I love it. I absolutely love this pistol so far. I only have like like I said I think it's about 100 150 rounds through it closer to 150 but I absolutely love this pistol. It is big and let me show you a couple of comparisons. Here I've got a Glock 19X safety checked and just to, to include the mag no nothing in it just to give, give you an idea they're very similar as far and I'm doing my best to show you here size wise so you got the P10F that way you can see a little bit better you got the P10F so you got about, about a finger's width more length on the P10F and about the same at the bottom of the of the mag but you got 17 plus 1 and you got 19 plus 1 so that's how it looks like versus the unlike a 19X and here I don't have a Glock 34 to show you but I, I do have a Glock 41 it's similar as far as length goes I wanted to show you that don't mind the light but if I try to put them as close as I can this one mag to mag without the mags again you can see it's a little bit longer but as far as the grip size the grip length they're about the same so more than anything what I wanted to do is just give you a sense of scale on the size of the P10F So that's it. I just wanted to give you a first look, first impressions. I've only begun to shoot it, but I, I absolutely love this pistol. And I wanted to get your impressions. What do you think about the P10F? Do you own it? What do you, do you like it? I'm seriously considering making this my bedside gun, although that spot is occupied right now by this Glock 41 in 45 ACP that has the Terran Tactical Grandmaster kit in it. And it's got the Heine night sights, which are my favorite sights. So these are the Heine ledge sights. Fantastic. So this is currently my bedside gun. But I don't know if it'll stay there or not because I really like the P10F. So there you go. Please let me know in the comments what do you think about it. And I look forward, always look forward to engaging with you in some nice conversations and nice comments. Please remember that I upload videos every Friday morning, and when I can, I'll do it on Wednesday mornings as well. Now more than ever, our country needs our unity and our prayers. We're all Americans. Don't let them divide us. Let's work together and bring this country back. And until the next time, God bless.